right. So I know some people have been asking me, you know, what's going on with my son? How is he doing and everything like that? How's, um, I guess, life or IRL stuff or whatever, since I posted my last kind of like channel update about like where the reviews are um, or videos are and live streams and stuff. And just pretty much again how the, the struggle has been with my son. Um, I mentioned in that video that he had a, a tongue tie and possible lip tie that he has a lot of acid reflux and spitting up and you know waking up every two hours to feed and stuff like that well it's getting progressively worse with um, his situation we're not entirely sure exactly what he has um, if he does have any kind of uh, allergies or anything like that um, we currently finally got a GI we finally got a feeding specialist for him to see and everything and those two um, the feeding specialists have been the most helpful they're the ones that spotted the the actual lip tie and tongue tie just pretty much confirmed exactly what we thought he would uh, had or whatever based off of my wife being in a whole bunch of different uh, Facebook groups and stuff and talking to other licensed actual doctors and nurses as as well but they're just unfortunately in different um, states right now so there's no way for us to actually just get him to get seen by those people who actually know what they're doing um, but I just kind of wanted to go ahead and grab the snippet from uh, my live streams. I'm pretty sure it's probably long that I talked about it or wherever. And I want to say, I'm sorry, I was a little bit, um, I don't want to say professional or wherever, but um, sorry that it was a little bit, uh, I guess, kind of ranty and kind of uh, just being irritated within it because um, of the situation that we're currently in with my son um, and dealing with these so-called medical professionals or wherever who are taking care of kids and just not helping us, period. Uh, we've been through a lot, um, seeing different uh, pediatricians, we've up to like six, we've been to like three or four doctors um, on our second GI, um, and you know, finally getting the therapist and stuff and just people taking forever to get medicine for our son, put in referrals, um, putting in them wrong and taking forever to uh, correct them and stuff there's people that we're supposed to have seen like almost two months ago now and we haven't seen them because our primary care doctor for him has not fixed any of her referrals that she was supposed to fix um we've had you know our our first amendment um you know violated where we are posting anonymously to forums to tell people our experience with dealing with certain medical professionals and stuff like that and them being able to get our names and stuff like that and faces and and divulge that information amongst each other and talk uh negatively behind our backs to our current doctor and she's sitting there like what's going on and everything um just because they believe that we're just parents or wherever who don't know what we're talking about it's our first child all this stuff but i'll talk about it in the video um my wife has taken care of kids since she was 12 um her own siblings her nieces nephews stuff like that again because she's from hawaii and stuff like that they're so big on family and everything they allow you know kids or wherever who probably shouldn't be watching babies or whatever watch them so she you know had did that all the way until pretty much she already had graduated high school um and a little bit well after that i personally have watched my nephew pretty much until i joined the military um and he was already starting to walk around and almost talking stuff uh, around that time so you know I've had my own experience uh, with making formula you know making a baby fall asleep and stuff watching a, a child and everything and I was already like in high school when that happened so you know it wasn't like it wasn't something that I was just you know a super young kid or something like that who couldn't comprehend things like obviously I could um, and I like to think that I'm relatively smart um, as well so it was it's just it's really frustrating to have to constantly deal with um, what we have been dealing with as far as in the medical field, finding somebody to just actually take care of our son. Again, I'm not looking for something that's a miracle cure or something like that and getting them perfect or something. It's not along those lines. It's my son has issues. I want him to, to, to get the treatment that he deserves. He's a human being. I have health insurance and stuff. Um, he should be getting, like I said, the treatment, the, the the procedures, everything that he needs to get done. He should be getting that stuff. And him being eight months and next month will be nine months and he's still not able to sleep at two hours uninterrupted, bare minimum. 
to me, that's absolutely crazy. And for all pediatricians, doctors and stuff we've seen up to, I would say almost like almost three months ago, two months ago now, actually like a month and a half ago, um, they said that he was normal. Again, six different pediatricians on our third doctor, wherever, second GI, everybody was telling us that he's normal. He didn't have any tongue ties, lip ties or anything. Immediately, first day we walked in, within 15 minutes of talking to a feeding specialist, they literally pointed out his lip ties and stuff like that, and his possible obstruction with his tongue being kind of um, shaped or whatever, and they said that he possibly needs a scope to see what's going on inside and everything. And again, months for months, seeing all these different people in 15 minutes, just seeing a feeding specialist that we had been asking and begging for months to have, um, he instantly got a referral, went there, and like I said, within 15 minutes of being there, they were able to point out so many different signs, but it's not really, really a relief to us because we already knew what we already knew that he had tongue ties and lip ties and possible something wrong with his throat or tongue or something along those lines because it's constantly spinning up, having acid reflex, not barely sleeping and wherever. And it's getting progressively worse like he won't just sleep at all he's taken us to it was taking us about three to four hours for him to actually just fall asleep and we're constantly like, bouncing him and stuff like that um, to get him to fall asleep now so again uh not trying to be too ranty or whatever just kind of give an update because i have a lot of friends who keep asking me how the sun is or whatever so i'm just going to reference this video and just let you guys know um it's been really really rough so any positive vibes any prayers or anything will be great great appreciated because uh me and my wife are pretty much at our mental uh stress level and 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 just at our mental fatigue and, and bodily fatigue with barely any sleep and stuff it's it's been hard i've been trying to you know keep that smile on and just wave and act like everything's okay but uh squid is going through it i'm just going to be 100 percent honest my family is, is currently really going through it uh, mentally physically and uh, it's just been exhausting and uh, i appreciate all the support you guys do give i know a lot of content creators say that i know a lot of people say that but you guys watching the videos giving me positive comments positive vibes just again send positive vibes prayers would be greatly greatly appreciated uh with that being said here's that little snippet uh from the live stream well, i'm doing good then can't complain then family um the sun is kind of getting worse with like not sleeping and stuff uh but we're trying to do our best yeah, yeah, yeah um the problem is is uh they're not doing what they're supposed to as far as like getting our scene sun medically for stuff the problem is is like referrals are not being done correctly his primary care doctor is not uh hasn't even really put in the description for the medicine that he was supposed to have and stuff and so almost done like worry, two months. I'll get us to win. I don't I don't know what to do, man. Like honestly. To, I don't know, just to that point where next time we get a an appointment or have to walk in or whatever, I'm definitely going to be uh, irate with them and just be straight up. Cause uh it's just kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Like, saying that, you know, he has issues and stuff like that, constantly yeah, telling him about his ring. issues and everything. And then all the doctors up to this point were like, yo, he's, you know, everything he's going through is normal. And then we finally get a doctor who's actually putting in referrals and stuff like that. Like, the feeding specialist is fine. Those people are fine. They're, you know, doing what they're supposed to. Um, we finally got him to a GI which is supposed to be doing in. the gastro stuff or wherever for um, his eating and everything. But that guy's like doing like by the book, like this rap sheet thing or wherever. And it's like, you know, our son like is past the point of, okay, let's try this first. Then let's try that first. And then let's try this first. It's like, it's been eight months, dude. Like you need to skip some of those steps in the process. Cause like, it's, it's so obvious. Like you, you don't need to be sitting here doing these baby steps with him. Like I said, he's, he's, He's been through like so much and he's going through so much. Like we don't need to be sitting here testing out uh, gastro medicine and stuff and different versions of medicine that we already tried and stuff. What we're, what we're trying to do essentially is get him scoped. And what that scope does is uh, it takes a look in like through his throat or whatever and takes a look into like, you know, how his uh, internals are doing as far as like, is he having any obstructions or something like that? Um, 
we already kind of confirmed that he has a lip tie, or possible lip tie, and a tongue tie. And we need to get that stuff removed and everything. And it's just like, they're trying to do everything in their power to like, not do it. I understand, because with babies, and especially at his age, what they normally do is kind of like somewhat put the baby to sleep, not like all the way, but they, you know, they do a little bit of that into, um, to get the scope in and stuff like that. Uh, Cause obviously you don't want a baby full uh, awake, like fully awake or whatever. So they're a little bit cautious of doing that. And I understand that, but it's like, bro, he's been dealing with this eight months. Premature baby was in the NICU for weeks or days or wherever. Um, and he's been dealing with spitting up and, um, weird eating habits as far as like waking up every two hours to eat they say that we're overfeeding him but he's like he's constantly hungry because he's constantly burping and, and eating um and spitting up and everything so he's constantly like trying to top his tank off again if you will um so it's just it's really irritating to uh it's really irritating to to have to deal with people who are slow on uptake like like i said the, the, his primary care doctor hasn't putting medicines or ref done our corrected referrals that she needed to correct yet it's usually and like every time we message or try to talk to him it takes about two weeks for anything to be done if not longer um but the feeding specialists have been have been somewhat helpful wherever but everybody keeps telling us to you know use the medicine stay using the same formula and everything and it's like the formula it, it's like he's still burping you know what i'm saying his poop is sometimes is still like a little bit irregular as far as types of poop or whatever that he's dealing with and everything so it's just like I, i'm done like i'm i to say that i'm over uh fatigued i am immensely angry um, at the, the medical uh facilities and the so-called doctors and stuff because a lot of them shouldn't even be honestly just from a professional standpoint should not be taking care of kids a, a lot incoming. of them, especially the doctors we had in the beginning that was saying all the stuff was normal. His mucus and poop is not a good thing. If babies keep on having mucus and poop or something like that, or people, you can have start having blood in the stool. And that means that you, whatever you're eating or feeding your child or wherever is not good. And it's like almost to the point to where now I feel like my baby has to be like almost on his deathbed for anybody to take our situation serious. Most of the time it feels like people are just looking at us as like we're brand new parents and they don't really care about what we have to say because they're like, oh, it's just new parents just, you know, just complaining. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, you're complaining about not having sleep because your baby ain't sleeping or whatever, keeping you up at night and stuff. And it's like. Bro, he's eight months. At this point, he should be sleeping four to six hours by himself, uninterrupted. Care package over here. He should be like perfectly fine, but he's not perfectly fine. He should he should not be having interrupted sleep because he's getting up to burp and, and have an acid reflex and throwing up. The baby should not be eating every two hours or wherever. Pretty much, almost like but Good. that's like the next between one. thirty and forty ounces a day. Like it's it's so dumb. It's, it's literally so dumb. So, like I said, hopefully in the future, like pretty soon, we can get to the point to where, you know, he can get seen for the right people. Like, you know, we're finally seeing a GI. He seems to like he knows what he's doing and stuff like that. The problem is, is when he was talking to us about like the different formulas and what acid reflect is and all that stuff, my wife had already told him all the information that he gave us. So we showed him that we knew what we were talking about, that we just weren't ignorant, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, what do you think we've been doing for the past eight months? Just sitting with a, like a thumbs up ass, like sitting there, like not doing research on what's wrong with our son. And he was talking to us like, he didn't know what we were doing. Like, you know, he just came out the womb. And I'm like, no, we've been doing this for eight months. We already know all this information about different types of formulas. Um, how to feed him correctly, how to prop him up and stuff like that, picking him up, keeping him up for 30 minutes to an hour, burping and all. Like we know all the, the routines and, and the different, like I said, types of formulas and stuff like that. Like we're paying like almost $100 per can of formula. You know what I'm saying? We've been almost to 20 different types of formula. We know what we're doing, you know what I mean? And for, for the doctors, it's just constantly sitting there and just like, it's like they're not taking this serious. They're not taking the situation serious at all. So it's just irritating. Cause like, 
we have like we're continuously doing this 12 hour shifts i'm completely exhausted from doing content creation you know only getting five hours of sleep or whatever because i still have to do content creation i still have obligations to companies and stuff and now i'm getting sponsorships i definitely have obligations to do certain like videos and product reviews and stuff like that and it's just really irritating that like i said it's our, our situation we're just not being taken seriously absolutely crazy iq that's crazy dog 20 yeah yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're just looking at us like it's it's normal. Keep them on formula because usually around like two weeks, you can tell like two weeks to a month. You can tell how a baby's going to be with formula and how, you know, they're able to uh, adjust and uh, adapt the next to ring. what you're feeding them. And the problem is, is like I said, a lot of people are sitting here telling us that everything that he's going through is perfectly normal. And it's just it's not. You know what I'm saying? I would just get a new doctor. Well, we've already, with the medical facility that we've been going to that is this primary care, we've already went through like three or four doctors. We've already put in ice complaints. We've already put in, uh, I don't know how that guy knew that guy was there. That was weird. Um, well, we already put in ice complaints. We already, you know, talked to the people that hire up that's supposed to like take care of situations, like the situation we find ourselves in that we're going through. Um, and it's still like, it's still bad. The situation we find ourselves in. Yeah. That was the yeah. champion, and he was like, actually, a solo. That's funny. They definitely don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, we've put in so many complaints. Uh, my wife even put up a uh, anonymous, like, review of how bad the medical facility treatment has been for our son. And, um, and they had um, nurses or whatever watching the forms. And they went and told the guy that was supposed to file the ICE complaint with, they told him about it. And they gossip amongst each other. And it was to the point to where they literally um, violated our First Amendment rights because they went and um, they went and, like I said, talked to the, the to the guy who's supposed to be head of the ICE complaints. They talked to each other, and the new doctor that we got situated with, after she seen us um, uh, for two different appointments or whatever, every time they they know that we had an appointment with her, they would go and talk to the doctor and ask her like how we are as a uh, as patients or wherever and she was just completely confused she was like you know they're a nice couple or wherever to just you know their their baby's going through stuff like what, what do you guys mean so they were trying to make it seem like we were being toxic or evil or mean or something like that when it came to you know us getting our you know son um the help he needed and it's like that's not what we we're doing. So just so many different violations being done at the hospital, bro. And it was just, it, it's been frustrating. Like I said, like trying to get sleep, trying to have our son, you know what I'm saying? Get sleep. I have sleep apnea. I, I know how important sleep is and he's not getting enough of it. And it's getting progressively worse and worse before we might get him to sleep four hours consistently without having to wake up to burp or feed or anything like that and that would be like maybe two or three times a month if we were lucky um now in the last two months or wherever he has not slept consistently for four hours he, and he's getting up even more frequently sometimes 30 minutes 15 minutes an hour or wherever if you're four time being hungry and stuff like that even with him speed spitting up and everything um it's just been it's just been a horrible experience and it's crazy to me that like i said we're just not getting the help we need uh, we have an appointment with the gi uh coming up or whatever but unfortunately uh my car had had issues and um the alternator and it went out so i had to pay like 500 almost 600 dollars for it to get fixed um so after it got fixed or whatever we were able to get the medicine but that put us back for like a week of taking the medicine so with him being on a medicine now 
and they're like they're telling us to give them gas drops like everything in the book that they're telling us to do we've already been doing for the past eight months and it just doesn't make any sense for them to keep on telling us to do these things if we've already been doing all of them and we literally have like almost an autobiography of everything that has been going on with him and everything we've been doing to get him fixed and everything and it's everything the doctors are telling us to do and we're like look have, are you not reading the list of things that we have done the list of things that we keep emailing y'all and and giving y'all before we even come to our appointments anything like that and it's like the doctors just refuse to read it or even know what's going on or, or anything like before we show up like we even tried to tell the gi like to read the list of things or whatever because he was asking this stuff and he was like i don't need to read that he's like i don't need to know like his whole biography or wherever i just need to know what's going on with him and i'm like this is the list of everything that's going on with him this is the list that we emailed to you and everything that we that we keep putting it and it's like bro it, it's crazy to me man that's what i'm saying like i just i don't know what to really do as far as uh getting our point across like and getting our son the help that he needs and the help that he deserves and it's just like I said, it's just constantly. Nice try, man. Give me a second, man. Nice yeah, nice try. But GG's, guys. I gotta get off. So, GG's on the games. Bro, I was literally... I don't know if you guys saw that. Somebody, like, jumped on top of me. I was sitting in a corner and oh, he I saw fell it. on me. <laughs> and he, didn't and he see still you. didn't see me. Yeah, it was a bangalore. <laughs> but GG's guys. Uh, I sent y'all a friend request. I'll catch y'all later. Yeah, GG. Oh, I only got 30 minutes. That's why I said that. I know they're going to keep playing. I'm not sure how long the game's going to uh, be. But yeah, it's it's a little bit crazy to me. No, no, I'm not, I'm not getting off. I just had to get off of the, uh, the game because it's on, I only got 30 minutes. So I got to get off at uh, 1 30. It's about to be one right now. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been crazy, man. Like it's crazy. Man. And I know some people will be like, well, if you need more sleep or whatever, just don't do content creation. The problem with that is like my sleep have sleep apnea sometimes i'll sleep for an hour or two and i'll get up and i just can't go back to sleep i'll just be wide awake like i slept 12 hours and then i pay for it later there's sometimes where i'll i could sleep for almost 24 hours like even before my son was here my wife used to say that like how are you still tired you slept for like 16 hours or more and it's like i'm still crazy like i'm still crazy like oh like just tired and it's like we, she can't get proper rest because uh she has her own stuff that makes her get up um, all the time and it's like when he's not sleeping or resting and you can't take a nap with him like a four hour nap six hour nap like he again he's like eight months now and it's like he don't even it's crazy brb restroom gotcha gotcha but yeah it's i've been dealing with a lot chat i just i don't talk about it a lot but i've, I've been dealing with the, a lot when it comes to um trying to get things done like behind the scenes and stuff and i guess that's kind of like another little channel update on what's been happening uh behind the scenes i don't really talk about it too much i think i talk about it every now and then when somebody acts in stream or like when i um posted that update video or whatever but like i've been trying to do the respawn recruits thing i've been trying to do um you know streams and product reviews and like record videos and all that stuff and it's just been it's been super hard because because of the times that he just doesn't sleep and me being on a schedule like i have a defined amount of time i only have like six hours or so to do like streams record videos all that stuff because i have to get my son at a certain time from my wife because if i don't you know she's already completely exhausted you know what i'm saying and it's not like she's just sitting there with him like constantly making bottles constantly having to change diapers uh constantly having to bathe him or something like that if he spits up on himself too much uh, 
he's always constantly fussy because obviously he has a lot of discomfort and everything and it's like you're constantly having to just like watch him like a hawk because even if he is sleeping and he does go to sleep or whatever for you know those two hours it's not like you can take a nap because you don't know when he's gonna like you know not to say aspirate he's aspirated sometimes on certain formulas but you have to be wary and and, and, and like conscientious of uh what's going to happen or what's going to transpire because you know he's going to wake up by needing to burp or having acid reflex you know crying and stuff uh we tried to, multiple things to get him to watch stuff or whatever baby century all this stuff you know playing with them talking with them you know having both of us there sometimes and everything and it's just like it's it's tough you know what i'm saying it's 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 really really tough and i'm not trying to make people like feel bad for me or feel like i'm complaining or whatever but it's just like it's just kind of like an update i guess to everything because it's it's been rough man it's it's been really hard it's been hard for me to like watch people's streams really network and, and support friends and stuff like that make content um just sleep you know spend time with my wife all this stuff like we can't even um sleep in the same room right now because if we do one of us is going to get woken up or whatever when it's not our shift because of you know all the complications with him so you know we have well, like we got rid of our couches a long time ago and we have like multiple beds or wherever because this room is now an office so you know we have accommodations like we have a big living room that's pretty much turned into a bedroom uh, that's why everything is in here now and I do all my videos in here instead of like videos out there in the YouTube studio uh, so like I said we, we don't even sleep in the same beds and everything because it's just we couldn't get the adequate sleep that we need um, if, if he was in the same room and, and everything and it, it sucks because like they'll tell you not to put the babies in the same bed as you or wherever but it doesn't even apply to us because we don't even sleep you know what I'm saying like we're constantly watching him because so, we can't put them in a bassinet or, or something like that even a bedside bassinet because we're constantly gonna have to reach over pick them up and burp them so it's better just to have them like literally sitting right next to you because you're gonna have to pick them up and burp them. you know what i mean um and like i said we've we're pretty much at our wits end and pretty much like losing our minds over over this stuff and like i said it's it's not good for me because i have mental disabilities and issues and the lack i'm trying to be as, as professional as i can when i when i say stuff like this but the lack of uh how do i say it the lack of urgency from the medical personnel is 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 infuriating you know what i'm saying like i understand it takes a while like with the medicine or whatever two weeks time to come back and see the gi to see you know how he's progressed on the medicine and stuff then i understand like everybody has their little steps of doing stuff but like i said like we're already past everything that these people are suggesting us to do we've already done it whether it was already told to us by another doctor to do or we've done our own research or whatever and have implemented those steps and like i said if the people would just read the list of things that we have done our complaints what's going on with him on a daily basis uh, there's been times where they told us to write down every single time he poops pees and eats or wherever and they gave us time sheets and we filled those things out and we walked into the office um on that like that week later or whatever because they told us to do it for a whole entire week we showed them the paperwork. They didn't even look at the paperwork. And they're the ones that told us to do it. And they were just like, you know, okay, you wrote it down. And they're like, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. And it's like, why why the fuck did you tell us to sit there and write all this stuff down, do all this stuff or whatever, and you're not even gonna look at it or use that information in any shape or form. We walked out of there with the paperwork. They didn't even take a copy of it. They didn't even put it in his records or anything. And like I said, it's just, they look at us consistently all the time. Like we're just making stuff up or like we're just over um, zealous or overprotective, whatever you wanna call it, parents or something like that. And it's like, I, I was there for my nephew until he pretty much started walking. So I've had experience, you know what I'm saying? 
and I've been around other babies and stuff and, and everything like that as far as being at home with them. My wife, pretty much since the age of 12, raised multiple babies or wherever because in Hawaii, their culture, all that stuff like that. She was, you know, I'm saying since the age of 12, taking care of babies all the way, all the way until she pretty much left home. And that was after she graduated high school and all that stuff. So she has multiple experiences with multiple types of babies from different families, from her own family, everything like that, because the kids watch the kids it, 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 like from the age of 12, bro. Like, so I'm, I'm telling you, like, she knows what the F she's doing. You know what I'm saying? She's not one of those moms that are freaking out. You know what I'm saying? Because the baby, you know, burped. It, it's not anything like that. And we're just getting treated to like, we don't know what we're talking about. We don't know what we're doing. And it's like, the wife's in multiple groups on, on Facebook or wherever from, with moms and parents from around the world who deal with fussy babies, who deal with babies who have acid reflux, all that stuff. She's constantly networking and talking to people. Some of them are even doctors. They just happen to live in a different state, so they can't really help us out. But they're telling us information and everything. So it's not like we're not having licensed medical professionals tell us anything. It's just where we're at, the licensed medical professionals that could actually really do something as far as like the actual doctors, the feeding specialists, they can only do so much and they can, they can request stuff and, and recommend stuff, but they can't really like do too, 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 too much. And it's like the people that actually can, no, I don't want to say that there's no quick fix for our son. There's no, no magical cure or anything to get him a hundred percent again, but there's definitely things that could be done to make him a little bit more comfortable. And that's all we're looking for because there's obviously something wrong with him. Like I said, it took forever for somebody just to tell us he had a tongue tie and a lip tie. We had one of the doctors even look in his mouth and said he had nothing. We went to the feeding specialist and they pointed at exactly where the tongue tie was and where the lip tie was. And it was as blatant as possible, like right in your face, easy to see. And it's just like, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's rough, man. It's, it's been, it's been a hell of a, a experience for us. Like, like I said, we're, there's so many times to where our wife's about to have a mental breakdown. There's been many times where I've actually had a mental breakdown. My wife actually had a mental breakdown too. That was around like a fourth or fifth month mark. Uh, but they're like so close. I'm so close. I know my wife probably is too, but I'm so close to having another mental breakdown. And like I said, already having you know, bipolar and having bipolar type two, wherever with the really bad depression and having PTSD. And my PTSD is triggered by people and humans. And these people and humans who are supposed to be medical professionals are actually the ones triggering my PTSD now. I'm dealing with this whole situation because they're insulting our intelligence as, as us being parents. Like, again, we've been sitting around doing nothing this whole eight months, just like, oh, you know, this is normal. And it's just, it's crazy to me, dude. It's, it's absolutely insane that, that I'm dealing with this. So I don't know. It's, I thought about making a video about it or whatever. I might just upload this section or whatever as, as like a channel update again, a second update. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been irritating to constantly, to constantly have to deal with like the incompetence. It's really irritating. For real. Yeah, I, t I told him. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to me. Has a uh, six different pediatricians, two different GIs, seating a feeding specialist now, like doing all this stuff. It's just it's been very very uh, frustrating. And like I said, like having an actual like dedicated time, like my wife has to stay up for twelve hours. I have to stay up for twelve hours. Uh, us having issues with sleep and stuff. It's just. And like I said, our son is getting progressively worse, staying up for 30 minutes to an hour and getting back up wherever. And now like he just won't go to sleep at this point. Like it's taken hours and hours and he's being fussy. He's doing all the cues, like rubbing his head, rubbing his eyes, 
and everything. And you can tell he's completely like, you can, you know, when a baby's like completely exhausted. If you look up any babies or whatever, that's just completely exhausted. They're doing all this stuff. Like barely can like sit up and stuff. Like they're just, you think that the baby at that point would just pass out and go sleep on their own. He will not do that. No matter if you give him a bottle or anything, no matter if you change his diaper, give him a bath, you know, do all the things or whatever that would typically make a baby fall asleep. If they're that exhausted, he, he can't even just pass out by himself and just go to sleep. And it's just, it's frustrating, dude. And you have to sit there and bounce him. You're sitting there bouncing for like two, three hours, sometimes longer for him to finally fall asleep. And then he's waking up within an hour because he has to burp or has reflux or he needs to feed. And it's like, and they're like, okay, we'll, we'll see you next week. We'll, we'll see you in two weeks or a month. And it's like, how, how are we supposed to function? You expect us to constantly drive 20 minutes, 30 minutes away to go to these appointments or even an hour away for the GI. And it's like, you're not considering the fact of how he is. We're supposed to drive an hour there and an hour back. Like, where's the consideration? Like, it's just, it's, it's mind, it's mind boggling, dude. It's mind boggling. But yeah, sorry if it seems a little bit ranty. And like I said, I might just upload this to YouTube because I was going to make a dedicated video or wherever in a more professional setting than sitting here, you know, talking about it on stream. But... I feel like this is probably the better way to do it. And I'm sorry for cussing. Sorry, it doesn't seem like a lot more professional, but it's just, like I said, it's been, it's been really frustrating and hard, especially like trying to do like the respawn recruit stuff, trying to get games in with some friends, um, having an enjoyment of playing games. Like I said, I have, uh, you know sponsorships that i have to do videos on products that they sent out to me and stuff like that um i have to make youtube videos consistently you know and it's just not having the time to really do any of those things uh, and not having time to really spend with my wife because it's like if if we either one of us stay up after our shift to spend time or watch tv or wherever we're both gonna have to be dealing with them and we're both like super dog tired so it's like, how much hours can we step into our sleeping schedule to stay up and spend time with each other? You know what I'm saying? We can't eat with each other as far as like dinner goes or breakfast or anything like that. We can't really do anything. We can't really watch our own TV, like our own stuff or whatever, because he has to watch his stuff um, because, he, you know, he's a baby. He's a kid. You know what I'm saying? He wants to, you know, see cartoons and baby stuff or whatever. Like, even if we like put a tv to the side that's what we've kind of done where for him to watch his stuff he ends up watching our stuff he gets frustrated because our stuff is not his stuff and he gets frustrated that we're not paying attention to him not holding him you know and everything like that and it's like how do how do any of like these people expect like us to function as parents it's like again they're just it's just they're just not taking us seriously a hundred percent just not being taken seriously and it's it's very very frustrating very very frustrating to, to have to constantly deal with it but that being said it is 115 i have to get off and go take my son at 1 30 so my schedule is going to start um not sure if there's a feeding specialist appointment tomorrow because we had to kind of move around appointments because of my car breaking down or wherever so I'm not sure what's going to transpire tomorrow if I'm going to be able to be live. Uh, but I definitely if, they will see, you know, what I'm saying if I make it to the next round of respawn recruits, um, if not, like I said, always trying to be a respawn recruit regardless. You know, what I'm saying always going to show love to the company of, of respawn products and everything. So I believe in what they're doing for content creators uh, just in general. And uh, just because, like I said, if I don't make it, any further in the competition or wherever doesn't matter to me grind's gonna still continue still gonna be humbled uh by the opportunity to even work with the company let alone work with so many different uh content creators who are wonderful within the competition and stuff whether i personally collab with them or not just seeing what everybody's capable of and putting putting themselves forward uh 
to to be able to progress through the comp the competition or you know be a part of the community so but uh with that being said chat i'll catch you guys in the next one y'all take care have a squid day god bless you and yours deuces everybody much love catch you guys later